Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a spring inspired makeup look. This is just one of my favorite types of looks to wear in the spring and also the summer, but just especially the spring with like a peachy lip color, kind of like you know, a peachy blush, like really dewy skin. So yeah, if you guys would like to see how to do this or just listen to me chat, just keep on watching and I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing another chatty get ready with me and today I wanted to do like a spring makeup tutorial since I think the day I'm posting this is the day of spring. It's either the first day of spring or it's like the day before the day after. <laughs> So yeah, um, so first I'm going to go ahead and prime and I've been debating on what primer I wanted to use, whether I wanted to use this No Filter Pure Primer again or one of my other luminous primers like um, my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Primer. But I think I'm going to use the Pure No Filter um, Primer again because I'm still trying to test this thing out. So, and maybe this time I'll just do this number like everybody does where they're like, oh yeah, let's do that. It looks like I have little tears. <laughs> so I'm just gonna blend that out. And actually, I need more than that. I'll just put some into my hand. And the day that I wore this um, in my last chatty get ready with me, um, I did like this, but I felt like it actually wasn't as illuminating as I was hoping it would be. So I'm going to apply a little bit more of it because I know in that other chatty get ready with me, I didn't really apply a ton of it. I was kind of being a little bit more sparing with it. But today it's actually going to be pretty warm out. It's been actually pretty cold here, but today it's supposed to get up to the upper 50s. And it's not really that sunny out right now, but hopefully it's sunny a little later today. So it's going to feel like a nice spring day today. All right, and then for my foundation, I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. And I'm going to actually mix this with a little bit of this Wet n Wild Makeup Locker. This is the 3-in-1 BB Cream. I just want to lighten this foundation up a little bit because it's slightly a little dark for me right now. So, and the shade of the Makeup Locker that I'm using from Wet n Wild is in Fair Light. That's what I'm using to mix with the L'Oreal um, 202 the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. So, just mix those two together, which, well, I don't know, that's probably not too much. And I feel like, well, that's probably a good shade. Uh, it might actually could be slightly lighter than this, but we'll just roll with this for now. I want my foundation to just look extra glowy and dewy today for my springtime makeup look. In the spring, I definitely like for my skin to look more dewy and fresh. And also in the winter months, I feel like my skin looks better when it's like dewy and fresh like this. And with this Wet n Wild makeup locker, this stuff, I do like it, but it's a very sheer, like, almost like a tinted moisturizer. I mean, it might have slightly a little more coverage than a tinted moisturizer but it is very dewy and if you have oily skin it would probably be a little too like greasy for you or shiny um, and like I said it's a very light coverage so if you have a lot of blemishes or something like that that you need to cover up it's definitely not going to be enough coverage for that and I find that it only lasts about six hours max for me so it's not like a super long wearing 
BB cream or foundation. So it's one of those products that's just kind of good to throw on if you just want to give your skin a little bit more coverage, give it like a fresh glow. If you're just going to be out and about like running errands or something and you don't need something to last for a super long time. Sorry, my phone is <laughs> going off over there. I always forget to put my phone on silent when I start filming and then it's like I either get phone calls or text messages or something. But that makeup blocker is also a really good foundation if you need to like thin out a certain, you know, makeup product or if you want it to be like a little bit more dewy and luminous to like add in. It's kind of like a good mixer. For my under eye concealer, I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to use a little bit of this, just dot, it's probably too much. And the shade of the Tarte Shape Tape that I use is in the shade Light. I'm just going to blend that out. I actually haven't really been wearing much makeup at all recently and so it feels kind of weird. Not really weird, but kind of a little weird to be putting makeup on. Probably don't necessarily need to put any of that on my eyelids, but because I'm going to put an eyeshadow primer on. And today, since I'm going for an extra dewy look, I'm going to put, um, I'm not going to set my foundation or concealer with the setting powder. I know I normally do that, but I'm just going to use a setting spray today to set everything. Just because I want my skin to have that glowy look. So, I'm trying to figure out where my setting spray is. Oh, here we go. I'm going to use my VDL Radiance Fix, my Expert Radiance Fix Mist, and I'm going to use this first to kind of set, and then I will also use it at the end. And like I told you guys before, VDL is kind of a little hard to find all their products here in the U.S. because they originated in Japan, or not Japan, in Korea. They're a K-Beauty brand. So if I can find that spray, I'll link it down below. But if you cannot find that, then like another like dewy makeup setting spray you could use is like this Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine um, Dewy Glow fix Fixing Spray or the Milani Make It Dewy. I can't really use this Catrice one. I'm going to have to give it away to somebody else. Um, one of makeup, April, she gave this to me. And I do like it, but it irritates my face. Like, after I sprayed this on for the first time, like, my face felt like it was burning. And then, like, the next day, I had, like, some irritation from it. So, I'm not even going to attempt to use that again. So, I don't know what ingredient is in there that bothers my skin. But there's definitely something in there that I cannot use. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kind of fill in my brows a little bit. I'm not going to fill them in very much because since I'm doing kind of like a fresh dewy sort of look, I don't want like heavily filled in eyebrows. So I'm just going to use my um, Benefit Gimme Brow, just like a brow gel. But if your brows are super sparse, you could totally just fill them in how you normally would. Just maybe do it a little lighter. So... This just kind of, you know, gives your brows a little bit of a tint and keeps your brow hairs in place. And then I'm going to get this excess foundation off my lips and I'm going to put like a lip conditioner on. which I just realized my regular lip conditioner that I have isn't in here. 
Um, so I'm just going to use this Neutrogena, I think it's Neutrogena, yeah, Moisture Shine Lip Soother, or Smoother or something, yeah, Soother. And I'm just going to let that hydrate my lips for a minute. Who knows, I might just wear this for my lipstick today. Not that it's lipstick, but you guys know what I mean. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead, I guess, and do my eyes real quick. And the eyes are going to be super simple. And I've been into super simple eyeshadow looks recently. Um, so I was debating on using this product here or my Too Faced Sweet Peach, Sweet Peach Palette because I really like a lot of the colors in the air for springtime, so maybe I'll kind of use these in conjunction with each other. So I just think this palette is so beautiful for spring and summer. Um, so I'm just going to go in to the crease with Georgia in the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And I'm just using my Morphe M573 brush. And I'm just gonna lightly just blend that into the crease and also here in the outer V just a little bit. But yeah, I think like peachy or like coral sort of eyeshadows just look beautiful for spring. I know that like those colors are definitely shades that people gravitate towards during the spring months. I mean, I also feel like lavender, like purples are also really pretty spring colors. Okay, and then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Keep Going pencil in the shade Running Naked. And actually, I totally forgot to prime my eyelids, but prime your eyelids before you do this eye look, especially with this Wet n Wild pencil because I find that it lasts better with a primer underneath an eyeshadow primer so I just kind of forgot because I have a doctor's appointment that I'm going to here in the next like hour or so um, and I just I don't know why but I just forgot to use it so just put that all over your eyelids the pencil And I just love that shade. It's just like a really just kind of natural flesh tone with some shimmer in it. So it kind of gives you like that glossy lid look. Which if you wanted to top this with an eyeshadow, this color here in Luscious is really beautiful. I love that color. I'm going to go in with White Peach. And I'm just going to highlight my brow bone a little bit. And I might pop a little bit of this White Peach in the inner corner. And actually, I think I might go in with just a little bit of Candied Peach on that same blending brush that I used, the 5... I'm just going to dab some of that off, the 573 brush. And I'm going to take just a little bit of that up into the upper crease just because I want to give it like that warm kind of peachy look. And I feel like Candied Peach is just like the perfect um, corally color for spring. If you wanted to do like false lashes or a liner, you could totally do that. But since I'm going for a really fresh look, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to curl my lashes up and apply some mascara. And I think I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. And I'm just going to do several coats of this and then I'm going to come back and I'll finish out my face. Now we're going to move on and finish the face. So for so for like my bronzer and contour, I'm just using my Profusion Highlight and Contour Palette again. And I'm going to go in with the Medium Chisel and my Morphe M530 brush. And I didn't really finish what I was <laughs> telling you guys a second ago about going to the doctor. So I'm going to the doctor today. Well, for one, I'm just going to get like my yearly like physical checkup. But I injured my 
ankle or like my Achilles tendon. I'm not real sure exactly. But like last Sunday, um, I was doing my hit cardio and I did my like warm up, my three minute warm up. And then whenever I went to do like my one minute run, um, like how I run for a minute, walk for a minute, run, you know. Um, as soon as I started running, I felt like a sharp pain or like a twinge like in the back, like behind, like above my heel, kind of like in that area like where your Achilles tendon is. So then I stopped running, obviously, because I didn't want to like continue to injure myself. And then I just kind of walked the rest of the time and then it, it felt okay like when I was walking. It just kind of felt like a pulled muscle or something. And then I didn't do anything else. Like I didn't try to work out or anything because I didn't know, you know, if I hurt myself or whatever. And then the rest of that day, it was like a little sore, you know, like a pulled muscle. And then like the next day it felt fine. I don't really remember it hurting or anything. Now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe R2 and I'm going to use the light beige color to bronze. And so yeah, it didn't really hurt me anymore until Thursday of that week whenever I was working like my, or not Thursday, Friday, Friday of that week, it started hurting. Um, and then whenever I got home from work, like I looked at my ankle and it was like all swollen. And then Saturday, I ended up leaving work early again because it was hurting me again and was like swollen. And after I got home on Friday, like I put ice on it and everything. And I did the, the same thing on Saturday. So I scheduled an appointment, you know, obviously to go see my primary care doctor today to have her look at it to make sure everything's okay. It's not really hurt me today, so I don't know exactly what I did to it. I mean, I probably just like strained it or sprained it or something, but I just want, you know, cause you all know I work at like an Amazon fulfillment center. And so I'm like walking and standing for 10 hours a day. And it's like, it doesn't really bother me right now. But I feel like if I was standing or walking on it for 10 hours, it would probably bother me again and flare up. So for my blush, I think I'm gonna use Luminoso, but I might use something else. Um, actually, I think I might use my L'Oreal blushes because I really like these blushes for like spring and summer. So I'm gonna go in with this light peachy color. It's basically the same color as Luminoso. It just doesn't have any of the, the sheen to it. This is just like a matte blush. And I'm just applying that with my Sigma blush brush. I think this is like, yeah, the F40. It's like almost rubbed off where I can't even read it. <laughs> Hardly read it anymore. And actually, I might go in with just a touch of this blush and also put it like in my crease. Just think that looks really pretty. But yeah, I just want to figure out what's going on with it because I want it to heal so that I can continue to work out because you guys know I've been getting back into working out and it's like, now that I finally have like a good little routine going on, it's like something happened and now it's like totally throwing me off kilter. And it's always so annoying whenever you want to be able to do something and then you can't. For my highlights, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier um, Baked Highlights 01. And I'm just using my Real Techniques Contour Brush. And like I told you guys in my last Try to Get Ready With Me, I've been obsessed with this highlight again. If you did not want, if you didn't want to spend the money on this, the Essence Pure Nude Highlight is very comparable to this. I just find that the Laura Mercier is like a little more of like a white tone where the Essence one has a little bit more of just like a nude kind of tone. So I find that when I'm really fair like this, this one tends to like, I don't know, it just gives you more of like that glow because it has that white sort of undertone to it. And then put a little bit here. 
Yeah, a little bit on my cubits though. I'm just gonna put a little bit there. And I might actually touch my blush up just a little, make it a little bit more intense. And then I'm gonna mist my face again before I go in with my lip product. And I'm just using the video mist again. Just really get it saturated really well. Um, if you don't have that L'Oreal blush palette, I don't know if they still make that or not. If you don't have that, this palette here from Morphe, I think this is, yeah, the warm blush palette. This color is very comparable to the color in this palette. So if you don't have this, this is also a beautiful palette for like spring and summer. I'm just going to line my lips with the NYX lip liner, suede lip liner in Sandstorm. I find that whenever I use like a corally peachy lipstick like this, it's better if I use like a nude lip liner like that. It just brings more definition to the lips. It's such a pretty color. So that is the spring makeup look completed. I just love looks like this for the springtime. So I hope that the weather is warming up where you live and it's starting to feel like spring. Um, hopefully our weather is still warm here. Like I said, the, the week I'm filming this, it's actually supposed to warm up, but I'm not for sure what it's gonna be doing the actual week of first day of spring. So anyhow, I hope that you guys have a great day today. I'm getting ready to head out. Like I said, go to my doctor, run a few errands, um, and then I will be back home and relaxing for the rest of the day. But yeah, if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on your notifications so you will know as soon as I post a new video. But yeah, I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.